Good afternoon. I was asked to share with you why Studio Moderna is involved in CSR and how we are doing this and why. Well, I was one of the first entrepreneurs uh, here in Slovenia opening the computer company somewhere in mid 80s. My father actually started Studio Moderna in mid 60s, so I was, when I was five years old, I helped him in his uh, photo laboratory to develop the photos. And uh, this passion you know, of changing things, doing something new, uh, this was always uh, my first focus. So when the opportunity came again in uh, mid 80s uh, with my colleagues, we established a company, a uh, computer company. Uh, the only thing that we had was our knowledge, and uh, with this, uh, we started to train the people how to use computers, uh, and uh, this was our uh, main asset that the company had. Which very soon we started even to export uh, our know-how and solutions to uh, some big Japanese companies. So at the beginning, I was asked, as being one of the first with this experience in uh, uh, establishing new companies, uh, by my friends to share the knowledge with them. So I shared. Uh, what I knew, I shared with my colleagues, with my friends, with people who called me, and I never charged anything, anyone. I never asked for anything. Then when the company uh, became a little bit stronger, we also realized we have to give something back. We have to help the community uh, supporting different activities. Our main focus was to help and support those uh, who didn't have, um, let's say, the proper activity to attract the big sponsors because it was not marketable. So it was local, activities in the culture area, in the sport area. And this is, let's say, the main um, way how we are uh, giving back to society and sharing our success and helping others to be also successful. But our new direction, and uh, last year what we are trying to uh, innovate and to be more involved is actually the next dimension and the future of CSR. But before going there, is, uh, I would like to also to explain a little bit the environment and uh, the context inside of which and why, uh, what brought us also to, uh, uh, there uh, to, to these new uh, experiences. Well, uh, the world is uh, definitely changing dramatically. Uh, as we know, economy is the way how we people are uh, using resources to fulfill our desires. So this is very simple, simplistic explanation, farmer's logic. And this has shifted in the history many times, you know, from agriculture society to industrial to information, etc., etc. And we are seeing this shift happening again. And it's bigger, as it was mentioned before, than ever so far. And will impact more uh, uh, people around the world and more uh, ways how we live and do our work uh, than ever so far in the history. And what is very important, that this shift that's going on, it's not driven by typical forces which were before. Let's say it's not driven by tangible assets, by machinery, by occupation of new territories, but it's driven by um, the new way how we are doing exchanging, uh, uh, um, let's say, uh, the, um, the things how we do the business uh, with intangible forces, which are speed, relationship, things that you cannot measure and uh, are untouchable. So it's the new way how we're exploring the resources that we have in the virtual society. And uh, two, uh, two things um, uh, has happened. One is that um, this change is not driven anymore by just growing of the economy as we knew it. So the economy grew uh, because the demand was bigger than the supply. And was driven, in the, especially in the, after the Second World War, very much with the consumerism. And the second thing is we, know we have uh, faced the limits of the mother nature. The natural resources uh, cannot fulfill anymore uh, the way how we live and the whole world wants to live. So as the Indian proverb said, when uh, white people will cut the last tree and eat the last fish in the river, then they will realize that, uh, that, that you cannot eat the money. And the second thing, is that also all this change that happened, all this financial crisis, uh, has brought uh, one shift in the thinking of the especially Western population. Two years ago, the CEO of Walmart, the largest retail uh, uh, company in, in the United States, said, even if the oil purchase power comes back to the pocket of the customer, they won't buy the same way as they were doing before. So the values 
all these changes that are going on are also you know, poster, posing some questions in our minds and putting under the question uh, the paradigm. The second reason for this is also because uh, people, especially in the Western countries, have enough stuff. You know, we, before, we are living to buy a new car, a first car, and then the second car, and maybe the first car for the family, uh, a basic house, a bigger house, uh, one TV set, etc., etc., more and more. More is not anymore the key driving force that would make us to commit to do and to work and to come to the job. There are new things which are uh, uh, coming out which are born. And this is not anymore the quantity which is driving the world, but the quality. And the quality resides in intangible assets, in our relationships, in our, uh, um, uh, how we treat the nature. So all this will have to become an uh, essential component of how we, how we work and how we live. And the role of the company it's not anymore to produce more and more and more stuff, but how we produce it and the way how we integrate in the society. And these are the things that are not anymore, the, the, the shift in this CSR, uh, 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 let's say, paradigm, is not anymore to give it back, to share something that you have earned this way because you're more successful than others, because maybe you're more brutal, because you're more passionate about something, and now you're shifting back. It's not anymore going to the church on Sunday morning and confess and to give something for somebody. You know? But it's about living a new responsible way of life, which has to be integrated into the company. So let's say we have started uh, a few years ago with uh, Marty Sari, Marty uh, 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 foundation, Balkarjina Youth Foundation here in the Balkan, to, uh, uh, to, to make a megan focus uh, to open new jobs. And it's not only I was asked to support this economically, but I said, yes, it, we will support economically, but we want to see changes. We don't want that these things are only event-driven uh, campaigns. We want that we really focus uh, uh, on education in the way that new jobs are created and new sustainable places are uh, 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 secured for the young population. And we put not only the money, but we put all our resources. So uh, from uh, myself to the whole company lived with those and integrated them into these activities to secure new jobs and to secure the change. And this is the way how companies will have to be involved they have to live the real life because we don't, be, we don't control and we don't own anymore our brands. It's not anymore the brand here and the people there. It's not only desire of the people to come and to get a part of the big brand, but it's about the people will ask and consumers will ask, what are the values? How this company is producing? How the company is living? Is it living by the values and the standards that are acceptable for the modern society, which will take care about also other components which are not seen in our balance sheets. And this is a new way. We are questioning, we are trying to find uh, the ways how we would be integrated more in this uh, uh, new paradigm uh, which is coming out and not only I said, you know, uh, 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 saving our souls by giving back some components. Giving back is still important because there are still a lot of needs, but we'll have to live by these standards. And in this big shift, there's also a big opportunity because we have to integrate all these ideas, which I'm also learning and hearing here, as the colleague, the first one said, you know, uh, our generation screwed up. So now we have to at least uh, listen to you in the last moment and to open the doors to these ideas which are here, uh, not to be left in the dust, and to justify our existence also for the future. So it's uh, don't watch only and don't be focused on this, how these uh, problems are falling apart, how the old paradigm is falling apart. The old paradigm is falling apart. The old economical drivers are falling apart. But you have to be focused on the new ones, on the new drivers. And this is opportunity for you, actually. This opportunity that you come with your eyes, with your values, with uh, uh, your energy to change this and to shape this and to shape also the companies which exist there for uh, many years. So uh, opportunity is there. Uh, which didn't exist before, and it's your opportunity. Thank you very much.